Right, right, everybody, how are you all doing? MJT Reviews, bringing you the best in model kit reviews. How are you all doing, guys? I'm so glad to be back. Um, I know it's been quite a while. Um, and trust me, a lot's happened in those couple of months that I've been away. Um, you know, I don't know how to explain it, guys. It's It just happened. I mean, you know when you get those feelings where you just... I don't know where some it leaves that the passion that you once used to have and other things that you used to love doing. I mean, I think what it was basically is my depression has got a bit worse and everything's just getting to me really. Um, obviously the flat that I'm living in at the moment, I'm still having all that crap with the neighbors. Um, I mean, I don't care if they're listening right now because they're assholes. I mean, I'm sorry to be saying it, guys. I'm just saying it in a nutshell. That's what they are. I've got a crazy lunatic that way next door to me who likes to scream and shout all hours of the day, all hours of the night. I've reported it as well, guys. Um, and obviously, I've got two lunatics upstairs up above me, a young couple, and they like to drink, fight, argue, throw things about bang, slam doors, set fires outside. Oh yeah, they've set fire outside my flat as well. I'm up to you with it, guys. I just absolutely so fed up. Um, you know, and I can't keep running down my mum's. I mean, I, I love my mum, bless her. You know, my mum's been there for through thick and thin for me. And I love her so much for that, but I can't just keep going down to my mum's all the time. And it's just ridiculous guys you know I can't just keep bouncing around this is me flat and I've come to the notion that I'm gonna try and get the hell out of here um, I've made my mind up now um, it's just not for me I don't like it down here and I've tried to like it but it's just not for me um, I miss Thornaby that's where I came from you know um, I've tried to like it but it's just you know, I've even got a window there <laughs> and the window is broken and I've asked them for months and months and months to come round and replace the bloody window. They don't even replace it, it's been months. You know, and they've left me cold through the winter and they still haven't replaced it. It whistles when it's windy. Um I've tried slamming it shut to stop the cold from getting in. Um but who in the world laminates the whole flat for out? I mean, come on guys. The whole flat's are laminated all the way out. This room was laminated, the other room is. It's just... Uh, there's not even a shower in the bathroom. I mean, I thought there would have been a shower. It's just a bath. I mean, I'm sorry I'm being picky and morny, but... Uh, I, I mean, I don't even like the patio doors that are in the uh, front room. I mean, I've got these sliding doors and it's just... Uh, I just really hate it, you know. And especially in an area like this. I mean, no offence to people who live in Hemlington. But it's just, uh, it's not for me at all, guys. But in a nutshell, you know, I had to help my mum with her move. And, you know, and, you know, it's great and all. Um, I had to do all that. I've been there for other people and stuff and not really thinking about myself, really. Not really. I have been taking care of myself, but I'm not really... You see with me guys is I care for, I care a lot about other people, you know, and that's me downfall. Um, I'm just too caring, but that's just me, that's just the way I am. I mean, I can't help that. I'd rather see somebody happy with a smile on their face. If I know that I can help them, then it just makes me happy because I don't want people to have the life I've had. I mean, I've had a, I've had a very bad life, you know. It's I don't even really want to go into that, guys, but... But anyway, I just hope that you've all had an amazing Christmas. I mean, I'm sorry I didn't do a video vlog over Christmas. I mean, I'm really sorry about that, guys. I tried my best to, but I just thought, you know, there's not very many people online over Christmas. You know, they're all busy with their families. I mean, some people aren't, but I thought at least I would have got somebody to talk to. But uh, I had my family there. But, you know, what I mean by that is people to talk to if they needed like anybody to talk to over Christmas, you know, if they were depressed or anything. I mean, I I like to know that I can be a helping hand, you know, somebody to talk to at least. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, I just hope that you all had a fantastic New Year and.
coming into 2024 now guys i've got a lot of plans a lot of things that i want to do i'm not giving up my modeling that is so don't worry about that guys i'm not giving up that as you can see i've got three cars here in the line i've got a, a p1 mclaren i've got an audi and i've got the electric e jaguar thing <laughs> but they're all quick builds um but anyway that's not the reason why i'm here the reason why i'm here today guys is to show you an awesome model kit that my mum got me for me christmas uh, i wasn't expecting it and i love you so much for my mind so you do I, I, I was so over the moon with this this present meant a lot to me um uh, you know when i seen it it's something that i wanted actually I, I actually really did want it as soon as i seen it but i never expected my mum to do that for me so i'm going to show you right now what my mum got so this video is to you mum, and i'm hoping you're watching um so guys this is what my mum bought me feast your eyes on this <laughs> so my mum got me the Eurofighter typhoon blackjack and it's just absolutely beautiful I mean, just look at it. You know, it's a 148 scale. It's got 228 parts. And it's 33 centimetres and 23.1 centimetres. So, yeah, it's got quite a big, big size to it. Hopefully, it's bigger than the other ones. I have got two other Typhoons. Um, so, this is what it looks like when it's done. Um, obviously, yes, mine is going to look the same. And it does tell you you require... Your cutting tools and your paint and your glue and everything else so you know all that already anyway guys <laughs> so yeah um it's actually a really big kit i do like the box uh, the box art's beautiful as well and um, i will show you the other typhoons that i do have so bear with me a couple of minutes while i uh, show you those <laughs> just passes the time away <laughs> so let's get me uh, typhoons out on the go Right, so, I know they're a bit dirty and a bit dusty at the moment, because um, I haven't really got had time to really clean because I've been so busy, you know, helping other people out and doing the best I can. I mean, I don't mind doing it, guys. Like I said, it makes me happy, knowing the fact I can help others, so it's great. It's just I wish I had some time to put these models up and stuff. But if I'm not going to be in this flat... What's the point of putting the models up? I may as well wait till I move into another flat, really. <laughs> so, there's my other Typhoon that I did. Now, this one was an Airfix kit as well. Um, did this quite a while back, actually. Um, it's a fantastic kit. I built that one quite a while back. Um, and I believe that's a 172nd scale. And I thought, well, seeing as how I built that... Why don't I do a Typhoon in a Spitfire scheme? So, there's a Spitfire scheme that I did the other one in. And that's the same one, 172 scale. 170 second. So, I did that in the old <laughs> Spitfire scene. So, I've got the two Euro fighters there. I love them both. Um, so, I hope you like this part of the video. Um... I'm going to show you the next part, so this will be like a two-part thing, so I will see you in a little while, guys, and I'll carry this on. Won't be long. Right then, guys, so second part into it. Um, I've just showed you the two typhoons. Um, so this one's going to be a bigger kit, obviously. So let's uh, just dig into it and have a little look. So let's take these out. So obviously you do get um, clear parts, so you get your canopy and everything. There's your clear parts there, um, for your canopy and all sorts. Uh, you do get a lot of sprues in this, so you've got like, you know, your loading for your bombs and stuff, your pylons and your drop tanks here I believe, all the missiles, I'm not quite sure. Um, you get a lot, <laughs> absolute lot, guys. This is going to be absolutely fantastic to build. I can't wait. Thanks, man. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. Um, then you get the massive wings. I mean, just look at them, guys. I mean, compare it to 
that's the act that's the one seventy second that I've got there, and you can just see the how big it's gonna be um compared to the other one, so the wingspan is absolutely massive, and yep, I can actually see all the detail on it. I will show you the detail of it and all that. There's the fuselage. So yet again guys, on a standpoint view, yet you can see which one's going to be the biggest one. There we go, you can see. <laughs> um, so it's going to be absolutely massive, I can't wait to uh, build this one. Um, and then we get the cockpit and everything else, all the stuff in there. But that's not the reason why I want to show you this guys. I want to show you this for the other reason. Being for the decal sheet, so this is where the big surprise comes in with. So obviously, there's your manual, um, brilliant artwork to the booklet and everything. But I'll just put that to a side. Check them out. <laughs> oh, look at how amazing those decals are. I mean, I'm going to go to town on this. Um, this is absolutely amazing. And do you tell you what goes with it? If I put it down there, it actually goes with the theme of my um, table, which is Union Jack as well. <laughs> um, but look at it. Absolutely amazing. I can't wait to build this. Um, I know it's going to take quite a while to do, but that's the reason why I wanted to build this one. And I'm so glad my man bought it for me. Um, so if I don't do it here... I will be building it at some point because, like I said, I want to really, really focus on this one. This one's a very special kit to me, so I don't really want to rush this kit, if you know what I mean. So, obviously, basic standard Revel booklet tells you how to put the decals on and everything, so at least that gives you that. Um, colour schemes and everything. We love all the colour schemes, so you know which paints that you get and stuff. Um, we've got all the sprues and everything. Because they give you a sprue guard, guard line of all the sprues and everything. So, basically guys, this is the actual model itself. So, it's how to build it. You've got to put, your, um, got to put all your cockpit together first, including the seat and everything. Um, obviously, dial switches and things like that. What would be really be cool is if I could do like a, some sort of like put a little light on the inside of it to show the dials and switches and stuff. But I think it's going to be so small I won't be able to do it. So I'll I'll think of something. I'll think of something. Um, but it's it's out there, guys. I mean, just look at all that stuff in there. I mean, it's just bit by bit. It's just full on this one. And I mean, I love the artwork of it. It's so different. Than what the old manuals used to look like. I mean, the old booklets were just these. This one gives you more of an indication of where things go and stuff, with it being all color coded and stuff. Obviously, just look at it, guys. I mean, <laughs> so let's have a look what steps it comes in, because uh, you're all gonna want to know that. And so you do get different choices as well. Whether you want to put like these are the yeah uh, rockets here. These are the stuff that goes on. So you get the 100L tank, you get the Meteor, uh, the AIM-9L Sidewinder, you get the Storm Shadow, uh, the GBU-24B. So yeah, you get quite a lot. That Storm Shadow sounds awesome. Like. Uh, the Sidewinder sounds good as well. Um, so all together, guys, 51 steps. So 51 steps. You know, get to build it and stuff. And obviously there's your decal guide to show you where all the decals go. Um, and there's some more there. Awesome, isn't it, guys? Absolutely fantastic. Um, and there's a colour code to do your tanks and whatever else that you're going to be doing to it. So that is an absolute amazing kit to me, guys. My mum went out of town to buy me this. And... You know, I love her for it. Um, so thanks, ma'am. If you're watching this, I really do appreciate it. It's the best model kit that you've ever, possibly ever bought me. Um, she has bought me a C-130 Hercules as well. 
but sadly my Hercules is in the cupboard. It's <laughs> most of my aeroplanes are in the cupboard because I didn't get round to putting them up. Um and obviously to be honest with you guys I don't really see the point in putting them up just because of other things that are going on right now and if I'm gonna be leaving my flat I don't see the point in really doing all that, you know. But anyway guys I'll be back for part three so I'll see you soon. Right then guys, I'm back again with the third part and the final part of this video. So let's get to it. Um, let's get to the kit. I'm going to show you what this beautiful kit is going to be like. So I know you're all going to want to see it. I mean, come on, it's a blackjack, who wouldn't? <laughs> so let's have a look. And there we go. I mean, guys... I mean, you can, if you focus in a little bit, you can actually see the actual detail on it as well. It's really, really awesome and so nice. It's not like one of the crappy kits where it's all, you know, like rubbishy and stuff. It doesn't have like loads of flash on it and everything. I mean, you're not going to get excellent detail like, say like this, because it really is like, it's not going to go like fully out, but it's, it's, it's all right. It's cool. I like it, you know, it's still going to be an awesome kit, so I don't care what it looks like, it's awesome to me, um, but anyway guys, judging on that, as you can see, we showed you right up, so I'm going to do fuselage to fuselage, so there we go, so you can actually see, if I hold it up, the difference, we've got the 170 second scale, and then we've got the big massive <laughs> other scale 148 scale that my mum got me so mum this is going to be a really big kit once it's done <laughs> it really is I can't believe it I, I'm I'm so gobsmacked over this I mean just look at the detail on it can you see if you just look you can see all the rivets and everything on it that's so cool love it this is gonna I'm like I said, I'm definitely gonna go to town on this. It's it's one of those kits where, you know, you just got to have you really. It's a typhoon and I mean <laughs> who wouldn't, right? <laughs> so there's two sprues in one. Now <sighs> there's some of the parts here, so I'm gonna go for a close up on this. So you can see the dials and the switches there, which are at the front. And you can see all the other parts and variants there. I mean, just look at that. They've got the seat there at the top, I can see. And you've got the part of the cockpit area there as well. Absolutely fantastic, guys. The reason why I'm not taking them out of the packaging, like some of them, is because I just don't want them to get scratched or damaged or anything, you know. Because it's, uh, it's such a big kit that... <sighs> absolutely amazing i just don't want to damage it to be honest um i just really wanted to show you the actual other stuff as well so let's have a look at this i'm not taking these out either um but just look at them <laughs> so there's your uh drop tanks and sand winders and you know storm shadows and whatever else it said that was on there <laughs> it's quite funny actually but you know it's Awesome guys. I mean just look at the amount of work I'm gonna have to do on this. Crazy. Absolute crazy, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. I mean I'm I'm gonna have to put this on a diorama or something. I think I'm gonna have to do something special with this because I mean come on who wouldn't really? Man, this is an awesome kit. I love you for this mom, I really do. Um so I'm gonna put this back in the bag because I don't wanna get it damaged or anything. I know it's, oh, I can't. I can't do it with this kit. I need to respect the kit. <laughs> so I'm just going to put it back away. Make sure that that stays all there. Let's have a look. Put that down there like that. Make sure that's all set in there. So there we go, guys. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Including the canopy, that's seven. So all together, guys, seven sprues. 
seven screws in one big massive kit that is absolutely fantastic guys i mean i can't really say any more about it just that's a fantastic kit and if you ever get the chance to go and get one i'd go and get one guys straight away just just do it guys i mean it's a blackjack typhoon i mean who wouldn't have a blackjack typhoon <laughs> so that was my review of the blackjack Eurofighter typhoon that my man bought me for christmas and i really really do love it like i said i'm gonna to go to town on it um whether i build it now or later on who knows but i'm definitely gonna you know keep this one and go to town on it because it's just one of those kits that i really do respect guys and i really do love my man for it so Anyway, that's my review, and I hope you all enjoy it. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Tell me if you like this video. If I did anything wrong, let me know. <laughs> if I did or whatever I didn't. Um, you know, I love you guys for all the followers and all. For following me and liking all my videos all these years, it really does mean a lot to me. Honestly, from my heart, it really, really does, guys. And um, that's the reason why I do these videos. So, anyway, um, I want to say a big thank you to my family. If my family are watching, hi, everybody. Um... And yeah, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care of each other. And remember, always keep it MJT. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye for now. Right, guys, MJT Reviews. Just a little recap. If you watched the last video, keep an eye out for this video because I got these two little beauties. So, as you know, I've already done the Provost T4. And... There we go. She's right here in all of her glory. Um, now, the reason why I got another T4 is because I'm going to do it a different scheme colour. I wanted to do it maybe a training version or a different variant. You know, like a different colour scheme altogether on it. So, there's one of them. But that's just one of them. <laughs> You'll see another one right here, which is a Curtis Tomahawk. And I did this one... In the last video that I got the Curtis Tomahawk. Absolutely amazing plane. But this one is going to be a little bit special. Because I've got another one. <laughs> but this time I'm going to be doing it. The American version of the P-40 Warhawk. So it's going to be the P-40 Warhawk version of it. So guys. Keep a lookout for those. When I do the videos. This is just a little recap. And I will see you all next time. Keep it MJT guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. Bye now. Thank you.